This is the network service of the NDA. It is the task of NDLEA to stop all this unacceptable nonsense of drug abuse, drug trafficking in Nigeria. Nigeria is the only country we have. We cannot fold our arms. We can, will, and must eliminate the drug scourge. The assets of any organization are quite central to the operational success of the organization. Thus, the way such assets are deployed and maintained are quite germane, particularly for a key establishment like the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, NDLEA. This much underscores the vintage position of the Directorate of the Technical Service in the scheme of things in the nation's foremost anti-drug agency. This is NDLEA Today, the program that brings you latest happenings in the NDLEA. You are very much welcome. Our focus on this episode is the Directorate of Technical Services in the agency, while our Risk in It All segment will be on the busting of yet another billionaire drug baron by the agency. Water updates, news highlights, executive summary, and the feedback segments complete our offering for this week. Good to know that you're with us on this episode this week. On the news highlights for this week's episode of NDLEA Today. NDLEA, Interpol, sign MOU on access to global criminal data records. Ex-footballer, Brazilian returnee arrested at Lagos Airport for cocaine trafficking. NDLEA nabs two Malians over attempt to export Akuskura, arrest Turkey-bound businessman. The National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, NDLEA, and the International Criminal Police Organization, popularly known as Interpol, have signed a memorandum of understanding that will enable the anti-narcotics agency contribute to the pool of global criminal data and also access such records of 195 countries around the world for its use. Chairman Chief Executive of NDLEA, Brigadier General Mohamed Buba Marwa, retired, signed for the agency, while the Assistant Inspector General of Police, in charge of the National Central Bureau, and Vice President Interpol Africa, Garba Baba Umar, endorsed the document on behalf of the global body. Speaking at a brief ceremony at the NCB Secretary's Force Headquarters, Abuja, on Wednesday, 5th October 2022, General Mara reminded the audience that drug business is international in scope, while the scourge of drug abuse has continued to destroy lives, youths, families and communities, stressing that it also fuels criminalities because perpetrators either consume illicit substances or use proceeds to fund their nefarious criminal activities. He commended the Inspector General of Police, Al Kali Baba Usman, for providing good leadership for the Nigerian police and his commitment to partner with NDLEA in the fight against illicit drugs in Nigeria, citing the IGP's memo to all police formations across the country to always transfer drug cases to NDLEA across the states for investigation and prosecution as a mark of such collaboration. 
Speaking earlier, AIG Garba Umar commended Marwa for transforming the NDLEA to a groundbreaking agency within a short time of his assumption of office. He called for more support for the anti-narcotics agency from all relevant stakeholders, especially security agencies. He highlighted the significance of the MOU to the success of NDLEA operations and assured of the full support of Interpol at all times. Operatives of the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, NDLEA, have arrested an ex-footballer, Okafor Emmanuel Jr., at the Mutala Mohamed International Airport, Tikeja, Lagos, on his arrival from Sao Paulo, Brazil, via Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, on board an Ethiopian airline with 1.40 kg crack cocaine concealed in his bags. The 33-year-old indigenous of Arochuku local government of Abia State was arrested on Monday, 26 September, after anti-narcotic officers discovered he concealed the illicit substance in the handles of his bags and padded the top edges of same with the Class A drug. During the preliminary interview, Carford disclosed that he was an ex-footballer with the University of Nigeria Teaching Hospital, NUTH Enugu FC, where he played before leaving for Sri Lanka after playing for two seasons but could not advance his football career in Brazil due to lack of official documents. Another Brazilian returnee, Ibe Chinedu Damian, was arrested same day upon his arrival at the Lagos airport from Sao Paulo, Brazil, via an Ethiopian flight. Ibe, who hails from Ahia Zoo in Bese local government area of Imo State, was found to have concealed 3.20 kg of black cocaine, popularly known as Luchi, in false bottoms of his two bags. In his statement, he said he was to be paid 3,100,000 naira on successful delivery of the drugs in Nigeria. The National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, NDLEA, has arrested two Malians, Mohamed Demoyle and Konli Bali Maliki, for attempting to export 34.2 kg bottles of new psychoactive substances, Akuskura, to Mali through Kotonou, Benin Republic. In a related development, the operators of the agency have thwarted the attempt by a 32-year-old businesswoman, Pamela Oding, to traffic 2.150 kilogram tablet of Rofinol through the Namdi Azikiwe International Airport, NAIA Abuja, to Istanbul, Turkey. The mother of one was arrested on Friday, 23rd September, while attempting to board a Turkish airline flight with the drug concealed inside pepper and packed among foodstuff. The indigene of Afisiere village, Ugeli North local government area of Delta State, said she operates a restaurant in Istanbul, Turkey, but came to Nigeria to see her relatives and buy foodstuff for a restaurant business. In Taraba State, operatives on Thursday, 29th September, intercepted 100 compressed blocks of cannabis sativa inside animal feeds, while their counterpart in Nogu State on Saturday, 1st October, arrested a physically challenged drug dealer, Abdurrahman Mohammed, with 104 kilograms of compressed cannabis sativa recovered from him. Another suspect, Ms. Safiya Bello, was also arrested in Shagamu area of the state with 27 kg of the psychotropic substance. Chairman Chief Executive of the NDLEA, Brigadier General Mohamed Buba Marwa, retired, has commended the officers and men of the seaport operations Ogun and Taraba State for their resilience while charging them and others across the country to intensify ongoing offensive action against drug cartels and traffickers wherever they may be located in any part of Nigeria. Chairman Chief Executive Officer of the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, NDLEA, Brigadier General Mohamed Buba Marwa, retired, has reiterated his commitment to further increase the tempo in drug supply and demand reduction efforts of the agency in order to consolidate on the gains recorded so far. 
General Marwa stated this when addressing a meeting of the Technical Working Group, TWG, of the Interministerial Committee, IMC, for the implementation of the National Drug Control Master Plan, NDCMP 2021 to 2025, held at the agency national headquarters in Abuja. General Marwa stated that the agency will mobilize all human and material resources available to ensure a comprehensive implementation of the master plan. He said NDLEA is working towards partnering with the National Youth Service Corps to bridge the manpower needs of her counseling efforts as it plans to establish counseling units in the 774 local government areas of the country. He further stated that NDLEA will equally collaborate with the Ministry of Agriculture to tackle the alternative drug substitution strategy of drug control. He thanked state governors who have appointed their wives as chairpersons of the constituted State Drug Control Committee's SDCC and urged those who haven't to do so in order to rid the country of the drug menace. Ordinarily, the governor ought to chair the State Drug Control Committee himself because of the seriousness with which the drug scourge is affecting the country. You need a person at the highest level of leadership to chair it, but we also know that they won't have the time. And so the person who is sufficiently powerful in the state and has the president's, uh, has the governor's ears, is no other than his wife. <laughs> and so we made the proposition for the wives who are our mothers uh, and also very interested in the drug scourge because it is their children in the state that are being affected to chair the committees. And I'm happy to report that uh, already governors are appointing uh, their wives. Labor State started. They sent me a letter that the wife is now the, the chairperson and a few other states, and it's uh, going to continue that way. So this all uh, very positive stuff. The agency, according to Marwa, is making efforts to establish forensic laboratories at the zones to ease drug tests as well as make the dismantling of illicit drug laboratories easier. He urged all other ministries and stakeholders present at the meeting to expedite action on their core areas in the drug control pyramid. The NDLEA boss thanked the UNODC and other partners of the drug use survey conducted in 2018 that has given direction to the master plan. He urged all members of the IMC to play their various roles to ensure an integrated and holistic approach to drug control. He said he is committed to playing his personal roles in the master plan as the chair. He concluded by saying that the role assigned to him has even been played beyond the shores of this country, producing tangible and tremendous results. Yes, it's true. Drugs are a vice in our society, costing lives and huge economic losses. But the story is not the same because the game has changed. It's a red card for drugs in Nigeria. There is a new sheriff in town. Brigadier General Mohamed Buba Marwa is moving hard and fast with full speed and precision to rid the country of the drug scourge. NDLEA Today is a program that gives you a front seat in understanding the highs and lows, the laws of drug enforcement in the country. Join us every Monday from half past five to 6 p.m. on the network service of the NTA, Africa's largest TV network. NDLEA Today. Don't miss it. The Directorate of Technical Services of the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, NDLEA, is saddled with the core responsibility of maintaining of the fixed and fixable assets of the agency for optimal utilization for the enhancement of its operation. Some of the core functions of the Directorate include maintenance of all assets of the agency, 
deployment of all assets across all commands, providing specification for equipment and assets to be procured for the agency, and maintaining of all structures, vehicles, and other assets. The Marwa-led administration, which spearheaded serious expansion in the agency, led to the creation of the new directorate and zonal commands, which also impacted positively its asset acquisition and deployment. The decision of the Buhari administration to approve the construction of barracks for operatives of the agency, according to the director in charge of the directorate, is indeed a welcome development. Before now, the issue of barracks is alien to the agency. And officers have cause to live among the people they arrest, and which led to so many issues of uh, lynching and uh, mob against our officers. What this is going to bear on the officers now, the issue of Bada, is you are going to see an enhanced performance of the agency. It's going to be a serious motivational aspect in our operations. Because the issue of housing, which is one of the basic necessities of, uh, of, uh, uh, of, uh, of human beings, it's a basic necessity. Housing, feeding, and rest. If you look at the Abraham Maslow's uh, needs hierarchy, yeah. housing is one of the basic needs of human beings. So this thing is going to seriously motivate officers, and I assure you that our officers are going to put in their best when this thing has come to pass. Determination of the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency and DLEA to inflict maximum loss on major barons and cartels fueling the drug business in the country received another boost recently when 13,451,466 bills of tramadol, 225 milligrams worth 8 billion naira, 860 million naira in street value was recovered by the operatives of the NDLEA from one of the mansions of a billionaire drug baron, Ugo Chuku Sofo Chukuka Dibia, in the highbrow residential estate of Victoria Garden City, Leki, Lagos, Nigeria. The arrest of Ugo Chuku, who is the chairman of Auto Nation Matos Limited, is coming barely two months after NDLEA uncovered a metamphetamine clandestine laboratory in the residence of another drug king bean in the estate. Following credible intelligence, NDLA operatives on Friday, 30th September, stomped the plot's A45 road to home of the 52-year-old billionaire drug king bean. A search of the expensive mansion led to the discovery of 443 cartons of tramadol hydrochloride 
225 milligrams, which contains 13 million. 451,466 peels of the drug, while some cartons were already burnt in a fire incident in the house same day. Before his arrest, Ugochuku, who hails from Ihiala local government area of Anambra State, had been on the agency's watch list as one of those behind the Tramadol drug cartel in Nigeria. Preliminary investigation shows that he has about six mansions within VGC one of which he uses to warehouse the tramadol consignment while he lives in the one at plot 2, 130, road 37 and another at his office. Five exotic vehicles have also been located in two of his mansions, out of which two SUVs, including a bulletproof Jeep, have been successfully removed to the agency's facility. As we usually warn every week on risking it all, you will surely lose everything in the drug trade once you invest in it. State Command of the NDLEA takes WADA Advocacy Lecture to Omolaja Shodipo Anglican Secondary School, Onikolobo, Abelkuta, Ogun State. Ex-international football star Kanu Wankwo visits Enugu State Command of the NDLEA to seek partnership with the agency. River State Command of the NDLEA takes WADA Advocacy Lecture to Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion, Ecclesiastical Province of Niger Delta Port Harcourt. Ekiti State Command of NDLEA takes WADA sensitization lecture to Afao Community High School and the Palace of the Town's Monarch. Ondo State Command of the NDLEA on WADA sensitization campaign at St. Louis Gram School or War, along with the NYSC WADA Club. Idi Roku Special Area Command of the NDLEA conducts drug abuse sensitization lecture for pregnant women at General Hospital Idi Roko, Ogun State. Do you know? Do you know that the belief that prescription drugs are not harmful because doctors prescribe them is a myth? Unfortunately, prescription drugs can be incredibly harmful if a person takes them without a prescription. Even taking a drug as prescribed can have potentially devastating side effects. Just because a drug is legal and not prescribed by a physician does not mean it is 100% safe. Do you know that it is wrong to assume that experimenting with alcohol isn't a big deal? 4 in 10 people who drink alcohol before age 15 will become alcoholics. Just because alcohol is legal does not mean it is safe. Problem drinking in students account for a high number of physical assault, rape and poor academic performance among students.
On the feedback segment today, Tony from Benue State asks, does your agency job description also involve stopping random commercial vehicles on the highway, asking some persons to alight and search them? I mean pockets and personal effects of only few persons. I've had the experience and it troubles me. Here is your answer, dear Tony. We would like to let you know that the NTLE operators who stopped your vehicles for a search did go against the law. For a fact, Section 41 of the NTLEA Act empowers us to enter and search any land, building, or carrier, including aircraft, vehicle, or container. And for our men to have stopped your vehicle, they must have been acting on credible intelligence. Please cooperate with them whenever they carry out their stop and search, as you will always be allowed to go once you are not found with any exhibits. Agnes Nti from Calabar Cross River wrote, How do I know if someone is addicted to drugs? Here is your answer. Dear Agnes, we have once given an answer to this. There are many different signs of addiction, and every drug has its own unique symptoms and side effects. If you think that someone you know has an addiction, pay attention to how he or she acts and looks. If you notice any of these behavioral or physical signs of drug addiction, it's important to talk to your friend as well as tell a trusted adult who can help. And that's it on the feedback segment. Please do keep the questions and comments coming. The channel remains NDLEA today at ndlea.gov.ng or ndlea today at gmail.com. You are welcome. And that's how far we can go this week. Keep a date with us same time next week for a fresh episode of the program NDLEA Today. Until then, it's bye for now. And please, stay safe. Stay away from drugs. <laughs>